This playthrough is rated M for mature. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, done with talking with that telemarketer. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While I'm right back here with another episode of Parasite Even the last episode, went back to the precinct, got set up to kill some bear, I mean, uh, some Eve, and now we're heading back to the museum because we got a call about someone, uh, someone Japanese there, so let's go check it out. Oh yeah, uh, <clears throat> off screen, I redid the, uh, the mod. Um, yeah, I, I guess for some reason I thought you had to use the mod there. I, I guess I misremembered. So, uh, uh, we're also going to uh, let's equip our new weapon. I, I weirdly forgot to do that. And then let's actually tune up the weapon. I don't know why. I had, last episode of Brave Fart about how to tune up. There's actually now an option there to tune it. I, I don't know what was going through my head at the time. I was just like, derp. So, okay. So we want to um, we want to do that to that. And we, what we want to do is what we want to just take. We see what happens when you use a tool like I said in the last episode, you can change. There's a few things you can move around. Like you can move around like rate of fire. Um, you can also move around the uh, um, bonuses you have. Um, and a tool can only do one of one of something. So if I wanted to, for some reason, give uh, the M16 like a X uh, three shot, for example, I could. Um, and all that would it would it would just space out the damage that the current weapon has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tool to swap this stuff over to the M16 and destroy the M19. Goodbye, M19. And there we go. We got a little bit more power. <laughs> so, yeah. And we have our Cowboy Vest from before. And Daniel says he'll meet us up at the front. So let's head to the museum. Uh, is there going to be a night at the museum? Well, I hope not. There'll be crazy shenanigans going on there. And we already talked to that guy at the, the front there. So we don't need to talk to his, his silliness. So let's get out of here. And let's actually go to the main map. Yeah, I didn't talk about much this before because I accidentally left the area sooner than I wanted to. But there, yeah, there is a map in this game. Although it's not like other RPGs where you run around the map and get encounters and stuff like that. Although that would be funny if you were driving around your vehicle and encountered like some mitochondriac, you know, monsters or whatever. But no, that never happens. It's just there to tell you where to go next. So I just wonder what happens if you go back to Carnegie Hall uh, while Daniel's driving. I think if you wait a second, the camera turns. Yeah, uh, it gives you a good look at it, even though that's a little PlayStation poly polygonal, you know, looking. Ooh, ah, look at the squares. Ah. I assume there's nothing there. I was just kind of curious what, if there's any extra dialogue here. Like if you check back, oh, you talk to some of the cops. I tell you, my holidays are ruined because of this. They better give me extra vacation days for this. You know what? You, what are you doing here? I don't know, just checking it out. I'm wa even walking around with my pistol, or my rifle in my hand. Look at that. <clears throat> well, New York for you. Hey, you can't just come barging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. Yes, you, you dig doll. Saw you on TV. You're from the 17th precinct, aren't you? You're the one that survived. <clears throat> yeah, they must not be from the same precinct we are or whatever, so. All right, let's get out of here. You just have to walk off screen. Yeah, no scene about Daniel going, uh, where are you going, uh, Aya? Nope, nothing like that. So, all right, anyway, let's be serious and go to the museum. The museum of Natural History. Actually, what type of... It just calls it the museum, right? What what type of museum is it? We'll go into the museum of natural... Well, there you go. <coughs> Game beat me to it. I forgot it said that. We're going to the museum of natural history. Dr. Hans Klump will be there. Clamp? I mean... What? Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria or something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's hard. To have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial. It doesn't like to waste that time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, it does sound like fun. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? What, does that happen before? Are you afraid to the press conference? Yeah. Oh. That we're talking about a previous incident outside of the game or whatever. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? What, are you calling him a brown nozer? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, buddies, right? Friends friends in arms. You know, it's like Murdoch and, um... <sighs> it's been forever since I've seen Love the Web, but sorry about that. Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Uh, yeah. God respect your boss. 
was Aya the uh, hot-headed detective. She didn't, or yeah, the hot-headed detective that the police chief always get always gets mad at. And then, hey, wait, a what's on that flag there? Is that a little chocobo? Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> well, it is a SquareSoft game, so it makes sense they would uh, throw in a reference every once in a while. So, anyway, the American Museum of Natural History. I don't know why I remember saying that line from that one that movie. It wasn't even that great of a movie. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> it's been a while since I visited the museum. Yeah, most same for me too, unfortunately. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. I like dinosaurs. They're cool. The only bad thing about dinosaurs is that well, this was made in nineteen ninety seven, right? So, uh, like a lot of things we knew about dinosaurs at that time uh, apparently are incorrect. Kind of like stuff in the Jurassic Park, because there's like. In Jurassic Park, there's dinosaurs from two different eras in that movie, which, you know, isn't the Jurassic... And most of the dinosaurs in that movie aren't from the Jurassic period. And I'm hearing you people go, nerd! All right, anyway. Hmm, looks like a code today. Well, let's see what security guy can do for us. All right, let's check it out. And also, there's a... I guess that's a horse, maybe, on the front there? I guess if... if I like the little sound that of her walking on the snow. Let me be quiet for a second. Man, there's something satisfying about stepping in freshly made snow. But anyway, let's uh, get to the top of this thing. If I ever wanted to visit New York, the, really, I, the only reason I go there is to visit the museums and stuff like that. You know, Smithsonian and all that. Hey there, how you doing? Yeah, doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? Well, we're with NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in this room right now. Uh, he's having a great old time. Did he do something? Uh, well, we don't know. Nah, we just want to talk with him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. I was wondering what that was in, what that was in his hand. I thought it was a lightsaber, but no, it's a, um old-fashioned torch or, you know, Lighter or, you know, fl flashlight or whatever. The security ones. You'll, you'll find them in the second research lab on the second floor. Yeah, those are like one of those industrial ones. Those flashlights are super huge. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. Doesn't really come out, huh? No, he's, he's developing his research. All right, we'll get along. We'll... Oh, by the way, could you shine in? It's policy. Let's keep track of who comes in. Thanks, I... <laughs> Gee, Dad, you sure don't want to run down here and do it yourself? <laughs> he just walks on up. No, no books on the counter, thanks. All right, let's sign it. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough, unless you want to leave your number, too. Uh, no thanks. Anyway, there's a save, a phone save right there if you want, but uh, we just saved not too long ago. No reason for that. Anything else? Well, I'm about to head on out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Oh, well, thanks. Well, let's see what this doctor has to offer. Is it about midichlorians or uh, mitochondria? Hey, yeah, yeah. Over here. <clears throat> there's really no reason to, uh, there's really not much to explore currently. We'll be able to explore much more later, but for now, let's just deal with the uh, current situation. Can we actually check the exhibits? Uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It's, I always forget which ones you can interact with, so. But anyway, for the most part, we want to talk to the doc right now. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's open. Let's go inside and see what he's do if he's doing something naughty. I hope not. Unless, it's, unless you consider science naughty. Excuse me. Hello? Hey. Dr. Clamp? Dr. Clamp! Uh, <clears throat> I hear you. <laughs> well, my classic Russian voice, which is terrible. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. What is he even typing at? No, he's giving the silent tribute. Great. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Ooh, exclamation point. <coughs> that went by automatically. What, this again? What is this? What's well, a It's a white hole. Or, I mean, a flashback. They do it in media quite often. <coughs> this man. I know him, I think. Hmm. That's the same room we saw multiple times. Are you? Is there something you're not telling us? Are you a false narrator, Aya? <clears throat> What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. Hmm. 
We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. <coughs> oh, man, sorry, I just can't get this cough out. In like PD, huh? You're interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Haha, <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? Jeez, calm down, dude. We're cops. We're just asking for information. Don't get all up your butt here. Is there music playing in the background? Am I just crazy? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own... Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. <clears throat> kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Jeez. Our brain, for example. <laughs> like how Daniel and I just go... Uh, you know, here he goes. The brain functions due to interactions between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Do you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 2,000 volts of electricity? Wow, I could start up my computer for years. <coughs> this not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the, com then the combustion from last night were... Dot dot dot. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. Oh boy. There are several hundred mitochondria presented within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. Ugh. Human puddles, huh? Ah, so you're saying the mitochondria ignited the, these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Haha, <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this. Uh, take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers degenerate, deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus cut off and its essence dies. The same cannot be, can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production levels decrease. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the highest species? You know, I didn't... I, I graduated high school and college. I don't want to go... I, don't, I didn't want to learn stuff today, dude. But you're just not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? Well, I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells. I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise that they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Dude, why don't you marry the mitochondria? Dot dot dot. Let me tell you something. Let me show you something! There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with the human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. Wait. <coughs> What, weren't, wouldn't it technically not be Africa at that time? Because didn't technically the continents are, were all one? Are you talking about what would have been Africa when it when it cracked open and split up? I mean, I, I've heard about this before, but... This founding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. I mean, I don't know all the details. I've heard this before. Um, you know what, what they call the root of it all? Evil? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Brr, huh? <laughs> hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on this. She calls herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return my studies now. 
What do you know, Clamp? What do you know? I believe you know the way out. We don't have a warrant or anything, so we can't drag him in. Hey, well, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Great. And you'll forget it. Let's just go. But aren't we cops are carrying more firepower than we can normally carry? Can't we, like, just... Never mind. God damn it. <clears throat> I think I keep changing Daniel's voice. <laughs> oh, well. All right. I guess we're back. I assume... I should be trying to get all again just a just a sec just to see if anything extra occurs. I'm just curious. Okay, I think it's probably the same dialogue. Yep. Okay. I know sometimes there's like little extra bits of dialogue every once in a while if you go to certain places or something like that. Like nothing major, but I don't know if I'll find all of it. But anyway, let's head back to let's head back to the precinct. Back to headquarters. Yeah, that was a bust. We got a history lesson, or biology lesson, but not much else. <clears throat> what the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Yeah, it's kind of a scientific jackass. Dun, dun, dun. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right back. We'll be right there. I didn't even hear the call sign, the signal, or whatever. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, Aya. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. Are you putting on the siren? Hell yeah! One of the benefits of being a cop is being able to run through everything. Get out of the way! I'm a cop! New York City Police Department, 17 Precinct. Oh wait, we already know about that. We've been there before. We're just coming on back. Got some new info. Oh, this better be good. Do you have any to do a dialogue? Probably not. Hey, hey, I didn't know I was in the case. Hope you bag this creep soon. I'd hate to bump into him on the street. Actually, I forgot what voice I gave him. <laughs> Sorry, there's so many like little incident, incendiary, incidentary characters that it's just like... No, let's go. I can talk to Daniel before we do that. Place go nuts. Wonder what happens. What's happened? Hmm. I don't know what's happened. <clears throat> I assume we have to go. It looks like Daniel went to the the one room. That's probably where Baker is. But let's see if anyone else has any extra dialogue over here. Hey, we have a meet or interested to meet in the conference room. <clears throat> okay. Where's the other dude? <clears throat> yeah, nowhere. Okay. I know, I assume Baker's not in his office. That'd be funny if he just popped up in there and was like, What are you doing in my office? Oh, whoops. Although I don't think you can really check anything in there. But no, and no, he's not in there. I was just curious. He just popped in his office and he's like dancing like to Korean pop music or something like that. You're like, uh, Chief? <laughs> like, I told you to knock on my door next time. Yep, all the guys are gone. They're probably off on a case or doing, uh, not a case, uh, probably just doing rounds or something like that. So. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. Actually, I don't think there's anything upstairs. Huh? Let's go, folks. There's a meeting. Okay. Anything else to say? Okay. All right, Chief, what's up? Oh, I see a map, and it looks like they changed the chalkboard. I think there's a picture of Evie there, too. Or Melissa. Mel Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering on the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. Uh-oh. But we can't really tell them the truth, because then they're just... Well, I mean, they probably just think we're crazy. The concert's at Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not done yet. Screw you, Baker, my son's in danger. Daniel. Aya, er, Aya. Watch his back. Yes, sir. 
All right, guess, and for doing that, we get another mod permit, so we have two now. Yeah, we had to head to uh, we had to head to Central Park with Daniel to check in on his son and his wife, or ex-wife. Oh, and <laughs> they immediately disappear, and it's gone. Let's uh, before we head out with Daniel, let's uh, double check the police department see if there's any extra scenes or things we can do. I uh, still can't get through the gate, huh? I want to go through the gate. We'll eventually get through the gate, by the way. Um, okay, same. Same thing as before. Oh well. But yeah, we will. I mean, not to spoil anything, but we will eventually get to uh, there. Calm down, Daniel. <clears throat> All right. Um, at Central Park, I sure hope it's not a repeat of last night. I hope not. Well, with me being immune to the fire, I think we'll, well, we're a bit, I don't know if i say better prepared, but and unfortunately, because of this whole Eve incident, we can't really have all the cops. Like, normally, there would just be a whole lot of cops there scouting the scene and everything like that, but because of what's going on, they can't, so. Or at least they have to keep it to a minimum. That's probably why, you know, obviously, in this case, Aya's important, because she doesn't get burned alive. Sorry if I'm just kind of meandering. I don't, I don't remember where every single like extra little di lines of dialogue are. I guess Baker's not. Yep, Baker's not in his office. Maybe he's off doing something else, or he just disappeared entirely. Nobody knows where Baker's gone. Perhaps he's getting a Baker's dozen. I don't know whatever our local uh, donut places around here, Dunkin' Donuts or. I think there actually is a Dunkin' Donuts like near my house, actually. I don't need it places like that, but... Too sugary. Actually, I don't eat donuts at all anyway, so... I used to when I was younger, but when I got older, I found that stuff to be way too sweet. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls, donuts, Krispy Kremes. My God. Those will make you diabetic just from eating them. Wish it... <clears throat> yeah. Wish... I was trying to do my Boston asking. Wish I could give a nice Christmas dinner. Oh, the dog? Oh. The dog will eat whatever, dude. It eats its own back, at back end sometimes, you know. Um, depending on the dog you've got. I, I think it'll, I think she'll, he, she, or whatever dog it is will be fine with the food as long as you feed them. And give them love and attention. Dogs don't ask for much. Oh, yeah, and I also need to drop off this mod permit while we're over here anyway. Where are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here just to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Never! Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Stronger gun? I I mean, you can have a gun with, like, more, you know, more accuracy or more power because, like, the way the design, I don't know if you can make a gun stronger. I don't know if that's the word we're trying to use. I think they've got this RPG mentality in this game. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. I guess Torres is supposed to be old, but because of the way graphically this works, um, it's hard to tell sometimes Like some, what some of the people... And yeah, we can get another permit from uh, Torres. Oh, yeah, this respawned. What is it now? A medicine. I think that respawns after every major... Um, same with this, you get ammo. I think, yeah, I think it respawns every time you go to a major event. Or whatever. Man, I could do so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. He kind of can. <laughs> but well, I don't want to spoil things for later. And no, you don't actually get a cannon. Although that would be awesome. You want to leave something here? Yeah, let's store. Uh, let's see. No, not that. Let's store. Yeah, let's store that mod permit. Save that for our rainy day. Oh, yeah. Off screen when I redid the scene to uh, get not use the mod um, in the... In that one room with the cops, like, you know, uh, lockers. Instead of getting the QRP, I got a mess in two for some reason. I guess that's another uh, another thing that can be randomized. Yeah, see, uh, I, I know a bit about this game, but I don't know everything about this game. There's a lot of things um, I don't know. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know the algorithm when it comes to, like, what it dictates. I mean, there's certain... I, there's certain areas that have specific gear, for example, but if it's like a cure P or 
medicine or whatever, then it's uh, there is a slight randomization. Even to the even to the uh, you know upgrades to your equipment are slightly randomized too. So it's hard to do like a perfect run of this game, which the game isn't that hard anyway. Well, that was cool, I guess, but that very brief. I guess they would just want to show off the PlayStation 1 graphics. Ooh. What the hell does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn! That thing's got a that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. No, he's Daniel's a caring father, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Don't stand between a man and his son, that's for sure. Although I how's I don't think Daniel will be able to like go into the park, right? Because of Eve's ability to send people on fire. Anyway, Central Park. Does it spin? Yep, it spins. Let's watch it do a rotation before we do that. Ooh, ah. I guess we're in the helicopter at this point, or someone's in the helicopter watching, so. Huh. Looks about looks about like Central Park normally, so. Bit, bit in a bean. <laughs> What's that bean? Because I know what it is. It's Ben. It's a bean. Daniel, stop. You know she can set people on fire, dude. I gotta hit my boy, rookie. Oh well, there you go. Whoa. Well, luckily it's just your arm and not didn't kill you. It's almost like you have plot armor. Sometimes you gotta get to. <laughs> sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. Ha ha. I don't care if I bud. Uh, well, I mean, if you're dead, you're not no good to your son, right? I'll go. At least I give a good reason why Aya has to be by herself throughout the whole game. Yeah, no party, no extra party members, folks. It's Aya and Aya alone in this game. But at least I give a good reason, because she's immune to the fire, and anyone who gets close gets burnt up, there, thereby survival horror, almost. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. I don't know, you could set a perimeter or something like that, I don't know. Well, but, but, I'll get them out of there, I promise. Yeah, I can understand the whole frustration of not being able to do anything. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do any good for him if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. All right, well, let's uh, help, uh, help Daniel get his boy back. Aya, Ben's, don't worry, I'll find him. I won't come back until I do. All right, and okay, I was about to say why? Why she? Can we? I wonder if we could actually leave, <laughs> just like walk out. Nope, doesn't look like I can. I was just saying we can actually leave the. Oh, you can. I guess to go back to the. Uh, I guess go back to the precinct if you want to uh, mod your weapon or something like that. Or, but uh, no, we need to. We need to go to the park. So. But yeah, I guess if you want to go back to the precinct or something like that, maybe, yeah, mod a weapon or something like that. What the? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the same. But now we got a burnt person here. So. He's dead. They went up in flames. What's going on in there? <laughs> well, this is what happens when you run right, right into the... Okay. Harry rushed in there without listening to Daniel and... Ugh. I don't even know where Harry is, but... So it sucks, so. Alright, time to go in. And we're not catching fire. Alright. A day in Central Park, huh? I've heard stories about this place. I wonder if we'll be able to survive it. Not just the monsters. Anyway, we get a cure P, which obviously, from what I understand, can be randomized, so. Will we be able to survive a night through Central Park? Will we be able to avoid the troll that lives in there? Find out next time in the next episode of Parasite Eve. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. As soon as I can get to this dang save thing. Thank you. Hello.